In this problem, we're told a rock is dropped from a 100 meter high cliff. How long does it take to fall? The first 50 meters and the second 50 meters. So let's draw an image of what's going on. So imagine this is going to be our cliff. And we know the height of the entire cliff is 100 meters. And then for our questions, we're trying to find uh, how long it takes to fall the first 50 and then the second 50. So what I'm going to do is divide this into 50 meters, right? So this is 50. And then our second half is also 50 meters. So the way you should approach this problem is by two different ones. So let's just start with the first one, right? So finding the first 50 meters and how long it takes to fall, right? So we also we have this rock here. So this is our rock, it's falling. And so I always start by writing down the given. So what are we given? So whenever you're doing a free fall problem like this, right? So something falling, you know your acceleration is gonna be minus 9.8 and then meters per second squared. So that's just the units of acceleration. That's something you have to know. And then what you should also know is uh, delta y, right? So delta y is just going to be our change in our y. So what is our change in our y? So if we start here, right, imagine this is 100, right, and then this is 0. We go from 100 to 50, right? So our change in y is uh, we're, we're going down 50 meters. So essentially, we're going down 50 meters. You just write it as minus 50 meters because that's the change in our height, right? We go from 100 to 50. So that's the next variable. And then what we also know is v sub zero, unless specified differently in free fall problems, your initial velocity, v sub zero, is always gonna be zero meters per second. So v sub zero is gonna be equal zero meters per second. And then we're trying to find how long, right? And so we know how, how long is time, right? So I'm gonna say t equals question mark, uh, just cause we're trying to find that. And then the kinematic equation you're gonna wanna use for this one is this equation right here. Delta y equals v sub zero, right in the y direction, I didn't specify, but v sub zero in the y direction times t plus one half a t squared. So this is probably the most common kinematic formula you use. So this is what we're gonna use to solve and notice how we're given every variable needed to solve for t. So let's just plug it in and solve. So delta y we know is minus 50, right? It goes down 50 meters equals the initial velocity, which is zero times t. Zero times any number is gonna be zero. So I'm just gonna get rid of it, right? I could write zero plus, but it's not gonna do anything. And then we have 1 half times a, our acceleration, which is minus 9.8, times t squared. And so I'm going to simplify this. 1 half times minus 9.8 is minus 4.9. And then we're solving for t, correct? So we want it by itself. If we divide both sides by minus 4.9, we're going to get that t squared equals, uh, right? I'm going to get rid of the minus sign because it's going to cancel. 50 over 4.9. And notice this is squared, right? So we have to square root both sides. And if you do that, you'll get t equals the square root of 50 over 4.9. So if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get that it equals uh, 3 point, so t, the time it's going to take, 3.194. So one, or 3.194 seconds. So this right here is going to be the amount of time uh, it takes to fall this distance. So let's label it. So three, three point one nine four seconds. So that right here, this right here is going to be your answer to A. Let's move on to B though. So B is going to be the second 50 meters. And so the way you want to go about this is it's going to be, it's, we can't really find this distance by itself, but what we can do is find the total distance it takes to fall to the ground and then just subtract this distance right here, right? Because if we find the hundred meters and we subtract this distance right here, all that's left is this, right? So this time. And so that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and find how long it takes to, uh, to go down the whole thing. So the only thing that's going to change here, right? So our acceleration is the same notice. It's going to be minus 9.8. Our initial velocity in the y direction is still 0. The only thing that's changing is our change in y, correct? And so this time it was 50 meters, right? We fell 50. This time we're falling the full 100. So instead of 50, it's just going to be minus 100. So when we solve this instead, it's going to be delta y equals minus 100. So just keep that in mind for this one. So we're going to use the same exact equation, right? And just solve for the total time. So delta y is minus 100, which equals v sub 0 y, which again is 0, times t. It's going to be 0 again. 1 half times a, which is minus 9.8, times t squared. So we know minus 9.8 times 1 half is minus 4.9 t squared, right? And then divide both sides just like last time by minus 
we get t squared equals and the minus sign goes away right so 100 over 4.9 and then t equals the square root of this we're getting rid of it with the square root so if you do 100 divided by 4.9 so the square root of that you're going to get that it equals 4. Point, t is going to be equal to 4.5175 right so you can round this however you want these are just exact or more exact values you could just round uh, depends on how your teacher wants you to do it but this is how i'm doing it so that's going to be the number of seconds it takes to do the whole thing right and so remember what we talked about if we know how long it takes to do the whole thing and we know this part we can just subtract uh, this part from the whole thing and we'll get the amount of time this takes so it's going to be four i'm just going to call it four five one seven so just like that, just get rid of this five here. And then minus this right here, right? So the time this takes, 3.194. And we're gonna get the time this takes, right? And so it's gonna be, if you go ahead and do that, 1.323, uh, it's gonna be 1.323 seconds, right? Because keep in mind, we're using time. So the amount of time, uh, it's gonna travel the second 50 meters is gonna be 1.323 seconds. And then this right here is your answer for A, don't forget. And so yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.